All right, today we're going to add clay to the uh, horse and uh, making a fine a little adjustment here on this side. Um, I'm going to make an announcement. I'm going to be having a sale on my uh, instructional DVDs until the end of this month, December 2016. I extended it because I had so many people requesting me to keep the sale on because they couldn't afford to do it when I had it on and uh, they will later on this month and so I decided as a Christmas gift to my friends out there in YouTube land and on Facebook that I would make this offer till the end of the year so that's the way it's gonna be I, 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 I can't I can't express how important all of you are to me. Uh, your comments, your uh, your love, and your following has always been something very special to me. And uh, yeah, I get emotional. It's just I got that from my dad. My dad couldn't. Uh, talk about something that meant a lot to him <laughs> for very long without uh, breaking down and uh, so I'm just letting you know that uh, out of my love for all of you I'm going to continue my sale to the end of this month now it may not be a huge mark off but I can't really afford to do much less because it does cost uh, every time I have to buy ink uh, and paper and uh, all the other stuff that goes along with making these uh, DVDs and I do offer it uh, as a digital download as well if you uh, request it and uh, I've got it set up so that mm -hmm. if you do request it uh, it will uh, I can send you an immediate uh, link to a private uh, video on YouTube uh, that you can view anytime you want to, as long as you got your email uh, to open the uh, project or the uh, video. You have to keep the email I send you with the link. That's the only way you're going to be able to open it because of the fact that uh, your e email is recorded as being an email that can open that DVD. All right, let's get busy on uh, this. I'm not going to show much today, uh, only because uh, this is going to be an instructional DVD. And uh, if I show everything I'm doing here on YouTube, nobody's going to want to buy the DVD because it'll all be right there on uh, YouTube. So. That's much as you're going to see today. Uh, I am going to add clay, and hopefully I can try to get this horse done today. It doesn't take long once you get started. You just have to do it. And my approach to teaching, uh, if you're curious, is to not make it really complicated with a lot of, uh, well, how should I say it, a lot of technical jargon, like... Uh, bone structure, uh, names, uh, you know, this is a thorax. That's, a, that's the extent of my, my uh, knowledge of uh, the anatomy of a horse. I know the anatomy. I just don't know what the names are. All right. Uh, if you want, it, it's, it's like golf. If you overthink your swing, you'll always go into the woods. Um, and I'm trying to take that away. I'm trying to take that. What is the name of that? What is the name of that? I don't want you to have to memorize that. You can do that if you want to. If you've got that ability to, uh, uh, you know, remember things like that. And if you're so driven that you uh, want to uh, learn every muscle and every uh, bone, that's, you go right ahead. Um, and, and, and maybe it's like when you get a, uh, a cell phone, you, you, you play with it and 
before you read the instructions. I always do. And then once you do read the instructions, you'll say, oh, that's what that was. It's, that's the way I teach. Uh, I have a relative, uh, a distant relative, who's one of the top sculptors in the world, as far as I'm concerned, um, who gave me much guidance when I was learning how to sculpt back in the, in the uh, early 70s and mid-70s uh, and 80s. He uh, pointed out things to me that I will never forget, uh, but he was college educated or, or greatly educated in uh, sculpture. Uh, I think he studied under Avard Fairbanks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Avard Fairbanks, if you don't know who that is, uh, look him up. Uh, he's uh, uh, quite the artist. And uh, his uh, Abraham Lincolns were the finest uh, sculptures of all. But what I'm trying to say is, if you want to learn the names of bones, how many ribs, all that stuff, um, you go right ahead and there's nobody stopping you and it's, it's worthwhile doing. Um, but I'm not going to teach you that here because what I'm going to teach you is the shortcuts that I've learned over, over 50 years, 51 years I've been at this. And, uh, and over time you do learn, uh, little tricks and little shortcuts, uh, to make something look, uh, well, like you spent hours. But I, I don't want you to worry. I, when I first started sculpting, back in, oh gosh, in the 70s, it would take me months to do a sculpture that now takes, well, a couple of weeks. And that's because I was learning as I went along, and, and I'm still learning. Every time I do a sculpture, I, I see something or I pick up something that I didn't see the last time I worked on something. You, you, you never stop learning. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci was asked, I believe, something about that, and he said that he was still learning, and that was near his death that he said that. You never stop learning. Knowledge, uh, well, it's slow sometimes for some people, and it was definitely slow <laughs> coming to me. But uh, anyway, I hope you take advantage of my DVD sales. Um, and uh, this will be the 10th uh, instructional DVD uh, that I have. If you decide to get a digital download, I do have 10 videos right now. I've got two on mail busts. One that I discontinued on DVD, but I do have the video. And one uh, on creating a Viking bust. Now I know this is Western. And that's why I'm doing just a horse right now, because there are a lot of people who want to do a horse. But, uh, and that they don't want to put an Indian on it or anything like that. Um, but everything I teach you, on, no matter whether it's Western or uh, straightforward uh, horse, um, everything I teach you, you can use in whatever venue you want to uh, create. Um, I may do a video after I get done with this video on putting a person on the horse and do a video just of that. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. But uh, the one key thing that I can't emphasize it more, you have an imagination. If you're drawn to doing what I'm doing, the world is your limit. There is no limit to what you can do if you really, really put your mind to it. And I feel that deeply. The first hurdle you have to cross over or jump over 
is I can't. It's not in my vocabulary. There is nothing I can't do. Because I don't put a limit on myself. As soon as you say I can't do something, your mind locks up. Your emotions lock up. Your imagination locks up. It's a wall you have to climb over. And I try to teach you that. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. This will probably be the last video before Christmas. I am extremely busy this time of year. Uh, been putting out uh, DVDs and such. And I will probably bring this out uh, oh, probably at the end of the year or at, or at the end, first of next year. Uh, this 10th DVD here. Uh, but, uh, like I said, I've got them either digital download or a DVD. I'll do, I'll do the DVDs as long as I can. Uh, DVDs are being phased out slowly. It's getting harder to find them. It's uh, getting really hard to find the cases for them. And, uh, I'll do it as long as I can. All right, I'm going to get to work on my uh, DVD today, and uh, I'll see you guys next time, probably after the first of the year. Love you all. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of those who celebrate this season. Happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate that, and uh, whatever other religions culminate at this time of year or early time next year. Love y'all. Bye.